Hey, it's me, Desta. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. We're right in the middle of a series on helicopters, and we're going to talk to you about what is this called? Parachute. A parachute. So, in airplanes, the, the the pilot can have a parachute. So, if anything goes south, he can jump out and he can parachute to safety. Do you want to test the parachute real quick? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use the parachute off the balcony here. Check this out. Daddy's gonna throw it. You ready? Parachute man in the ocean. One, two, three. Oh man! <laughs> we just gave the parachute man to our neighbors. So think about this. Let's say we're in a helicopter and we're up high and all of a sudden we run into trouble and we run out of engine power and we start to fall. So we've got this weight and it's suspended by this rotor system. Now if we're smart about it, we can change the pitch on our blades to spin up our rotors really, really fast. And then we have kind of like a pinwheel or a windmill effect. And then if we're really smart, right at the last minute, right before we hit the ground, we can change the pitch on those blades to provide lift. So we're back driving our rotors and then right at the last minute we're using them to decelerate right before we hit the ground. This is a maneuver called auto rotation and this has kept helicopter pilots alive for many many years. In fact, they've even done auto rotations from 40,000 feet. So a helicopter basically has a built-in parachute. But with a helicopter you got this rotating disc right in front of you. So my question is what happens if you lose power at altitude? So this battery he just put in, what if it dies? So what happens, Carl? If you lose power in a helicopter, you can auto-rotate. All right, so Carl's gonna demonstrate auto-rotation and we'll get an idea for what happens. You're getting smarter every day. All right, so what exactly are we about to do here? We're gonna demonstrate auto-rotations. I'm gonna take it a couple hundred feet up in the air, shut the motor off, and fly it all the way to the ground without power. Sounds like a genius idea to me. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you know, this is expensive, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. All right, so where are you at? How high? Uh, this is probably about 300 feet. Three, and I'm going to turn the motor off right now. And we're coming in on, without power. On a very expensive helicopter. Oh, yeah. So there's no power right now. No power at all. So why did that happen? What did you just do? But we're turning the pitch of the blades down and as the helicopter is falling down, the air being forced through by gravity spins the blades. So like it's like a windmill? It's like a windmill. So helicopters are a whole lot safer than I thought. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not very impressed though because it was <laughs> right side up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it upside down. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm joking dude. Ah, let's do it. You can do it? Let's do it. I am not responsible for what's about to happen. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Are you upside down already? Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're going to flip upside down. So you have an unpowered Power helicopter off. upside down. Correct. This makes perfect sense. Holy cow. There we go. That is messed up, man. <laughs> All right, so helicopters are a whole lot safer than I thought. And uh, if you want to see more about how they work, look at this video series that we're making, How to Control Helicopters. This is Carl. I'll put his info in the description. Please subscribe. Later. Where's my thinking hat? I, I, need, I need my thinking hat. <laughs> <laughs>